Hey, hey, everybody. What's going on out there? How you doing today? I want to talk to you guys today. Um, I was thinking about this because my husband and um, some of his um, conscious friends, they are involved. They started a community garden. Um, and we've got a little harvest from it, but I, I want to talk about that, about uh, cultivating the seed and, and reaping your harvest. And, and this community garden got me to thinking about that, how um, so much of it uh, relates to the work that they're putting into the garden and into life. So I want to talk to you all a little bit about that, about um, reaping your harvest. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but um, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you're there. Let's see. Let's see if my mic is on. It says it's on. <laughs> if you're there, just go. I know it's a little delay, so giving uh, Facebook a few minutes to go ahead and uh, notify you guys. And if you're just joining me, you should see in the top corner of your phone or wherever you're watching me from to subscribe. So whenever I do go live, um, you can get a notification. I appreciate if you guys can do that for me so you'll know when I'm going live. It's um, I don't know where you're joining me from, but let me know where you're joining me from. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and a, a lot of the country is under a heat wave. So let me know where you're going from. It's actually, I'm getting a little breeze right now, and it's a dark cloud, so I'm hoping it's going to be a pop-up storm to cool it off a little bit. But it's, it doesn't feel as bad as it was yesterday because of this uh, coverage. But our heat index, I believe, was 105 or 106 yesterday. Unlike some of you I know that are in uh, Arizona, Phoenix, and things like that, or Nevada, I, I don't know how you do it, but... Um, yeah, so I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about reaping your harvest and cultivating the seed. And I got this idea again because of, uh, you know, it's that time of year where people are um, gardening and growing their food. And um, my husband and his um, community of people he's involved with started, uh, had a great opportunity. This woman had about two acres of land and... Um, they're going to do something with it. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, they're just really working out everything on that. And um, as things go along, um, we'll be doing more things in the community about with, with that. So I want to talk about that. A lot of times we want to go straight to, um, we want to go straight to the harvest, right? Um, and not think about what it took to get to that harvest. And this really parallels so much to everything in life, right? Um, in order to get that good harvest, a lot of things start before that harvest come, you know. And it's some things to the foundation need to be laid and to think about, you know, starting from the ground, the dirt. You know, you have to have good fertile dirt, you know. Um, things have to be done to that dirt. And so you can't just take that seed and just plant it in any type of dirt and um, hope that it would, you know, harvest its best without, you know, taking into account what you're surrounding it with. And so let's start with that, right? You have this dirt, you know, versus you can have a dirt full of weeds and um, the stripped of its minerals and everything like that and all kind of garbage and stuff put into it. Or you can start with nice fertile dirt um, that has all the minerals and things that make it uh, a more conducive um, place for something to really grow at its best. And if you think about that, that's the same thing with us as people, you know. Um, think of us as growing in life and such. So you take this seed, but it can't be just, you know, you not just any seed, you know, is it... Um, yeah, you'll get results with a genetically modified seed, or do you want the organic seed? <laughs> you know, with all of the things we're learning about and that's in our foods, a lot of people are really starting to grow more of their foods because they can't trust um, how their food is being and food is being engineered. So um, let's talk about that. You, you, so you take the seed, 
you plant it in the dirt, right? But then you need to do some other things in order for this seed to germinate. You know, there's a, a period of time where it has to germinate and take root. Um, you have to feed it, you have to give it water, it needs a certain amount of sun, um, and things like that for it to grow. And a lot of times we can get, um, I guess, impatient you know, waiting to see the results of that um, come to fruition, you know, and, you know, the seed, we don't see what's happening. We don't see what's happening underneath the dirt while this seed is starting to take form and uh, germinate and to take root. Um, but we keep going and we keep um, giving it sunlight. We keep giving it water because we, uh, you know, in hopes to see it, um, you know, see that first breakthrough through the dirt. But a lot of times what happens is, um, you know, if the germination period is longer than others, then we give up, you know, we tend to give up and we don't feed it. We started off feeding this, this seed, the water, as often as it's said to feed it, but when it, 45 days and 60 days, we haven't seen any results, then we s slow down on um, giving it the amount of, amount of, uh, correct amount of water. Um, for it to have its breakthrough and often and I'm guilty of this too often you know um, because 30 days as a human being our attention pain our attention span with so much going on is pretty short and you know breaking they say breaking bad habits take at least 30 days of consistent action toward whatever it is that you want to do to create a good habit or break a bad habit um, but a lot of times we don't get to that 30 days and it's the same thing with when we're waiting for a seed uh, in your garden to germinate and take root. Uh, some seeds take longer to germinate than others. Um, lettuce is, is faster than um, cucumbers, right? Um, but we're talking about reaping the harvest and then talking about what has to happen before that large harvest comes. So you, if you quit providing um, the nutrition and things like that before you have that germination and that breakthrough, that seed breaks through, then you're going to have a weak harvest. Now, we do know that some years there are droughts, right? You know, you have droughts some years and the harvest is not as big as the other, but there is still a harvest. But it always starts with the preparation of harvesting and reaping your harvest. So. What, other, what else has to happen, right? You, so you get, finally get this breakthrough, and if you've got, I know with my husband's in the garden, what they're realizing is it's taken a lot of weeding, right? Um, they did not start with, um, they're thinking about some things better. They started with the dirt that was there and um, it was some compost. However, they put it on top of an area that had a lot of other things going on in the dirt, right, that produced a lot of weeds. They were surrounded by a lot of other things that produced a lot of weeds. And it's very time consuming to keep weeding, you know, so it doesn't take over what you're planting or what you have planted. And it's the same thing about mindset. We talk about, I've talked about that and some of the things that we started reading to help, you know, if we wanted things to change, we had to change ourselves. And so we had to start weeding some things uh, from our surroundings um, that was keeping us from reaping our rewards and reaping our harvest. Um, and so it, it's so parallel to everything in life. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys around it. But you have to con continue to weed. It's not just a one-time thing. Um, it's something you have to continue to weed and continue to grow. Uh, so your 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 um, your plant your seeds can grow. So you are weeding, you have to prune. Uh, it's a it's the constant work on the garden, on self, on mind. You know, uh, that's the parable I wanted to share with you all. And then you get to see, and then at the end of the summer, you get to reap your rewards, right? But it doesn't stop there because um, it's a constant flow in a garden to continue that garden to keep it um, harvesting. You plant certain things at certain times of the year. So once you reap at the end of the summer, you have to then go back to cultivating that dirt, um, turning it over, um, prepping it, 
putting the minerals and things back in it that it needs um, so you can then get ready to plant your next your next um, get ready for your next harvest you know your cooler your greener things that grow in cooler weather and things like that so you can constantly keep uh, reaping your reward and harvesting uh, throughout the year so I just wanted to talk to you guys about that about how um, a lot of times we may not feel like or you may not see things happening right away um, but continue to uh, whatever it is that you're doing and working towards your goals continue to keep working on it some I mean because there's a lot of things under the ground under the layer of dirt under the foundation that you will not see and the root right is really the foundation um, but just like if you're in business the foundation of it is really what's going to help you reap the biggest harvest so you really need to go back to the foundation and that was a, a frustration that I was having in my business that I kept trying to um, my foundation wasn't solid my foundation wasn't solid uh, you know we all try to take shortcuts and take corners you know save money and things like that but then everything come full circle and you realize that the best thing for your life may not be may not be the cheapest route or the shortest route or the shortcuts and um, so you just have to build that solid foundation and prep it so it, you can have your biggest harvest in the end and reap your rewards. Um, and that's something that I, I've been doing. And I know it's a frustration in the online industry, very much in business. And I, you know, thought about, well, you know, a lot of people, I see a lot of people suffering this now that I'm starting to... Um, see some changes and some shifts and some that uh, uh, that breakthrough in the dirt and, and what was the main thing I had to go back to the drawing board start over from the dirt the fertile dirt and plant a uh, great seed right and build that foundation and if you want to know how I did that and what's the, the real results come from that then go ahead and I created an ebook um, go up to straightupnochaser.com and to download that ebook. So, whatever you're doing, whatever product, service, or idea that you have, this ebook can help you create the best foundation um, of systems and tools that you will need um, to create that biggest heart, the bigger harvest at the end. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I would love to know, uh, like I said, where you guys from? Post down there and how hot is it where you are? So if you haven't already, subscribe to my live feed and go over to Rhonda Hines online and like my fan page where I'll be doing more things over there. Thank you so much for joining me. Ta-ta. <laughs>